हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय चैनल आई एम छवि गुप्ता योर ऑनलाइन मेंटर इन टूडेज वीडियो आई विल एक्चुअली वॉक यू थ्रू व्हाट रियली कैन यू एक्सपेक्ट इन अ कैट एग्जाम एंड हाउ कैन यू स्टे प्रिपेयर्ड फॉर दैट फॉर दैट इफ यू आर समवन हु हैज गिवन कैट टू 2021 और समवन हु हैज जस्ट लुक्ड एट द पेपर एंड सॉ सम एनालिसिस यू नो दैट इट वाज ऑलमोस्ट लाइक ऑल अदर कैट एग्जाम्स it was unexpected and that comes as a shock to anyone who prepares only for some particular type of questions people who just want to minimize their effort by just seeing okay these are the topics that come every year i'll just prepare for that and so on this definitely comes as a shock instead what is needed is something more basic the aspirants who are clear with the basics and actually have the patience to deal with specifically lrdi section ensure that their accuracy is high specifically in the quant section and know that there's a good speed and accuracy balance that you need in the varc section people who know all of this have a better chance to score you know 95 or above percentile in the exam and that is something that is true every single year so what is it like how can you ensure that cat becomes more manageable or at least more predictable well the most important thing is something that you all if you are preparing specially for cat 2022 you should be aware of this is sort of i won't say it is a secret it is known but it is sort of something that people ignore at least when they are initially preparing for the cat exam So one thing that CAT 2022 aspirants should know about is that while a lot of aspirants or people will tell that you know follow similar strategies for all the three sections give equal time to all three sections etc I think that is one big flaw and individual sections actually demand some specific strategies and tips for example LRDI section you need to first select the best possible options you need to be very very good in time management you need to know when to let go of questions that is a significant learning in that section that most of the people don't do because they feel that they know the questions and they will just solve them and spend a lot of time that is something that is not needed in quant section everyone should just try to solve as many questions with the highest accuracy if your accuracy is falling below 90 85% the speed doesn't make sense so over here you do need to go through the entire basics and ensure that your basics are strong and then build speed on top of it in varc it is actually almost all about practice you need to practice a lot of rc passages to ensure that you are able to read you are able to comprehend on time you are able to solve and analyze on time all of these are different sectional strategies that you need to need to follow i have in detail these strategies and you will find them uh, links for them in description below apart from this you need to practice mock tests which are closest to the actual exam and you need to know that where exactly you will find these mock tests one way is that that you know you can just pick up whenever you solve mock test pick up previous year cat questions etc and you will realize that a lot of questions in good mock tests are similar to the cat exam and hence it is critical that you find a mock test which is closer to the cat exam and that then you can actually do some analysis then you need to ensure that you know you are able to find the topics the sections that you are not good at you do some topic wise analysis you essentially do accuracy versus time taken graph analysis as well because you need to improve both your speed and accuracy and you need to see you know how people who are better than you how the toppers are performing versus how you are performing in the entire mock exam because that all of that sort of gives you ability to find out your weaknesses and work on your weaknesses so there's there is a great brand which provides all of these things in their mock tests it is olive board and in case you have not checked it out definitely check out the link is there in description below they provide really really good mocks which are close to cat exams and a lot of people a lot of aspirants this year are expected to cross the 99 plus percentile mark in cat 21 
and hence and almost all of them actually have said that the paper was not so much out of the line of mocks and that is something that I have said time and again that once you start giving good mock tests, once you give them again and again, exactly in the way how you will give your CAT exam, your CAT exam should just feel as another mock test. It should just feel like an extension of your preparation. And if you feel that your stress is at the minimum, you are feeling very comfortable and you score really well. So well, I think that if you want to increase your chances of acing the CAT exam, and you want to get access to CAD 2022 mocks and start practicing now, please visit the link below. You are also requested to, as soon as you give the mock, you will get access to after mock analysis, which is something that is a must for anyone who gives mock tests. I have also, I also have a video on how to do mock analysis. The link again would be in description. But please check that out as soon as you give mocks, check, check out how to do analysis and do that analysis because that is crucial for you to improve your score in the final CAT exam. So I hope that you get that. Also, you can subscribe Olive Board MBA exam YouTube channel. The link again is there in description below. Let me know how you find these mock tests. They should be really good and should help you out in your preparation. Please put in comments below what your experience has been. And have a great day. Good luck for your CAT 2022 preparation. I hope you score well. Take care. Bye.